A sixth New York City taxi cab driver took his own life on Friday night, the latest in a string of driver suicides that has shaken the industry and brought attention to its economic hardships. Abdul Saleh, 59, is a Yemeni immigrant and the sixth driver to die of suicide in the past eight months, according to the New York Taxi Workers Alliance. Saleh, was 59 years old and he should have been planning for retirement and rest after 30 years of serving the public and the city, but instead he was exhausted by the cruelty of ending each 12-hour workday with less in his pocket than the day before, the New York Taxi Workers Alliance, NITWA, said in a statement. Nitwa blames the suicides on the drivers having their livelihoods devastated by a business model that fails to recognize the basic humanity of the workers who keep our city moving. Saleh worked as a cabbie for 30 years and often worked 12-hour work days, but he often fell short on his the lease payments on his medallion and taxi, his driving partner Kamar Chowdhury told the New York Post. He and Chowdhury split the workday, driving either day or night shifts, but Saleh would often come home as little as $60 short on the payment. But Chowdhury told the Post that Saleh was $300 short for the latest payment. He sounded upset and depressed, Chowdhury told the Post. He said he didn't feel good. I know he wasn't making enough money to pay his lease, Chowdhury added. He was short here and there and I used to have to help him out. He said he didn't know how to survive. The Nitois plans to have a press conference outside of New York City's City Hall on Monday to address Soleil's death and the economic hardship they say drivers currently face. Many cab drivers work more than a dozen hours a day, seven days a week, yet are left cash-strapped after paying off car and taxi medallion loans, according to the Nitois. One problem that many in the industry point to is a glut of drivers, as rideshare companies such as Lyft and Uber increase the number of cars in the road. Five other New York City livery and cab drivers experiencing economic hardship have taken their own lives in recent months, most notably Douglas Shifter who killed himself on the steps of City Hall. Shifter said that the rideshare companies were contributing to the financial strain that led him to such drastic measures, according to a manifesto he wrote on Facebook. If you or someone you know is in crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-8255, text TALK to 741741 or visit speakingofsuicide.com slash resources for additional resources.